Today I am going to explain about family Fabaceae. Coming to the classification, it belongs to the division Spermatophyta, subdivision Angiospermae, class Dicotyledonae, subclass Polypetalae, series Calciflorae, order Rosales, family Fabaceae. This family is also known as Papillonaceae or Fabaceae commonly known as P family. It is considered to be second largest family of dicotyledonous plant. It is terrestrial plant. Uh, it's terrestrial plants widely distributed in temperate and tropical countries of the world. The plants are great economic importance. Next is root. The outstanding features is the presence of root nodules which harbor nitrogen fixing bacteria inside them. These plants are grown to enrich the soil with nitrogenous substances. Stem It is branched, smooth or glaucous, may be erect or weak, herbaceous or it could be woody. See, we are saying so most of the plants which comes under Fabaceae will be either having a soft, I mean, smooth or glaucous stem or it could be having a erect or weak stem. Then some of the stem, uh, I mean, some of the plants are even climbing with the help of a tendrils. Leaves are alternate, stipulate, compound leaf, mostly trifoliate. Here you can see this. They could be, uh, I mean some of them could have trifoliate leaves. Leaf modification. It is uh, modified partly or wholly into tendrils in case of Lathyrus and Piceum. The leaf base may be pulvinate that means swollen leaf base. In Piceum and Lathyrus the stipule are foliaceous and highly developed. Inflorescence it will be Racine. Usually it will be racine. Racine means unbranched, indeterminate type of inflorescence bearing pedicillate flowers. Pedicillate flower means having a short floral stalk called pedicel along its axis. So coming to the flowers, flowers are complete. Complete means all the whorls are uh, floral orals are present, bracteate, pedicillate, they are either actinomorphic or it could be zygomorphic. Uh, they are hypogynous, hypogynous meaning the perianth and the stamens are attached to the receptacles below the gynecium. And um, uh, as I told it is hypogynous cyclic and pentamerous. Calyx. Calyx consists of uh, sepals. Generally they are five in number. They are usually gamosepalous and odd sepal is always anterior in position. You can see the odd sepal which is always anterior in position. Estivation is ascending Imbricate. Imbricate means uh, like one completely in, one completely out. Three um, sepals will be in and out. So it is an ascending imbricate. Then coming to the corolla. It consists of five petals. Polypetalous, papillonaceous, that means it consists of a posterior petal which is outermost large petal called as a standard petal. 
next to this it has two lateral petals called as wing petals and two anterior innermost united petal um, which form a boat shaped structure called keel petal this is in the descending imbricate estivation and rhesium there are generally 10 stamens nine stamens are united to form a tube around the ovary while the 10th stamen is free this type of condition is called as diadolphus uh, whereas um, polyandrous means when stamens are free that type of condition is called as polyandrous gynecium it is monocorpulary superior and uh, unilocular there are numerous ovule in on uh, parietal placentation or at marginal placentation coming to the fruit fruit is a legume or a pod seeds are non endospermic pollination is entomophilous pollination is through entomophilus economic importance of fabaceae some of the plants which comes under um, fabaceae family will produce uh, will be utilized for food purpose like uh, kajana skajana pisian sativum and glycine mugs um, even uh, some plants are used for oil extraction purpose like um, arachis hypogea and uh, some plants are used for timber purpose like dalbergia siso 